While offering a standardized platform for application developers, a smartphone performs as complete as the operating system software. There are also very advanced features in smartphones, such as the internet, instant messages, and the emails. Also, a web, also a built-in keyboard, which is very typical. Because of this reason, because of these few reasons, we can actually say the smartphone is also known as a miniature phone, which simulated just of a simple phone. But if we describe the outside, what's, what's on the inside? Hey guys, take me here, and today's second episode will be on smartphones. Today's video will be on smartphones, and it's not a general smartphone, it's not a random, random smartphone. It's a specific phone I have picked, and it's on J5, Samsung Galaxy J5 Pro. But this is my old phone, and I really can't show the features here because this phone is like done. Uh, I tried fixing it, but it really doesn't work. So I didn't, I didn't want to risk myself because anything worse can lead to anything worse. Then I can't use it anymore. So I decided I'll go to the workshop and fix it. But for now, at least I know my summary and my and the features for this phone. So why why not we start off? According to the people's views, yeah, averagely, people actually rate this as 4.3 out of 5. I don't know about you guys because this phone on the outside looks good and I'm sh I, I have used it and inside it actually looks good. I've used it like for like 3 years from December 22, 2017. I've actually used this phone and it's actually it actually went well. I'm not gonna lie. Um for an unknown phone like this, having 4.3 out of 5 is something unusual since no one actually knows okay, people actually know this phone, but not much compared to other famous phones. They have many famous phones, but this is like un infamous or unfamous, I don't know whatever you say, but this is not known. And still, it's like, you know, you know what I mean? It's still 4.3 out of 5, which you don't, something unusual for a phone which is barely used by anyone. Now for it to be 4.3 out of 5, there are actually specific, good specifications for this phone. Like, its performance is octa-core. Yeah, this the phone, this phone performance is octa-core with a storage of 32 GBs. The camera megapixel is actually good for a phone like this because I have a camera used to have a camera but it's gone like a long time ago. The megapixel was like, I don't know, very less. Very less, but this camera megapixel is actually 13 megapixel and I had a YouTube channel previously it's all about like making videos and skits the one I'm using right now is a laptop webcam I mean laptop video camera but I used to make videos on this previously and it actually went well there is, I mean I believe the resolution is actually good since and I understand completely understand phone resolution won't be that good compared to a video camera but Think about it. This phone is like unknown, but still, it's actually good. Um, not to uh, point out on anything or anyone, but I know I've changed it, changed the topic a bit. But compared to iPhone, this phone has more megapixels than you see like iPhone, other iPhones. If I'm if I'm wrong, please comment down below. If I'm wrong, if I'm right, just yeah, just believe on. Now. Its battery is 3000 mAh, meaning it can stay for a longer period of time. Um, but that depends, the battery life, that really depends. So for example, if we actually download something which is like very big, very big, obviously the battery will run down very quickly without actually wasting its time, obviously. But that 3000 mAh really, really depends. Um, but in general, yes, 
it is 3000 mAh meaning it can stay for a longer period of time and a phone like that of course is very unique it has a display of 13.2 centimeters approx 13.2 I think but I know the inches which is 5 inch 2 5.2 inch sorry 5.2 inch 3 GB RAM meaning it's actually quite fast because other latest phones their GB is actually quite high and I completely believe that I completely agree but the phone like this it has 3 gigabytes meaning it is not that fast but at the same time we can believe it is not that slow it's not in the, also in the middle it's like on the fast range not too fast but is somewhere on the fast range um it ha also has special features and like the sense that they have other sensors like the light sensor the proximity sensor the accelerometer the compass and the gyroscope those sensors make this phone a unique phone like i believe this phone should be a unique phone and for people who really want to buy a phone like like really want to save their money but still buy a phone i would recommend you guys to buy j5 pro this is not the best budget phone but this is one of the best and how there will be a time while where i will upload five to six best budget smartphones uh, i hope you watch the video but um, there are also other things i would like to talk about this phone specifically the, the general let's talk about the general types of this phone um it's an operating its operating system is android version number seven it's nougat version number seven and it's slim slot switch this here is dual as you can see is dual one two um if we try to move it see uh certain sim one there wait it's written sim one if you can see it's good um and for the other one yeah and sim 2 now this one is an sd card micro sd card um is you can do i think what people usually does most of the time they put some data into the sd card and they place it on the micro sd instead of downloading like every single time they can put it here which is actually quite easier also you can put extra storage because this storage can this phone can hold up to 64 gigabyte which is really good so you can apply any like 64 gigabyte or 32 gigabytes up to you up to you but 32 gigabytes is of no use so you can put 64 gigabytes here and you can put more storage here i think which is a very good thing for a smartphone like this again uh, Um, it ha as you have seen, it has a dual SIM. Uh, the model is J5 Pro, as you might have heard it. Its slim size is Nano SM2. I mean SM1 and Nano SM2. That is SIM size, not slim size. SIM size. They're small. Um, its network is actually good. I'm not gonna lie. Its network is actually good. Uh, it has 3 GB and 2 GB which is like built in but for specific countries there is also 4 G I'm not talking about all the countries in general is 3 G and 2 G but um, it's also 4 G but it's like no one really uses 4 G in this phone but 3 G and 2 G is what many people uses it and one thing this phone has a fingerprint sensor like okay i can't use my phone right now because it's um destroyed thanks to my little brother he okay 
he because of that i really can't show my phone but there will be a time i'll do a video on j5 specific phone once again and then i'll try to show the inside of this phone with, a, with like like you know touching the phone and then showing all the features but currently i can't use that phone because it's gone The, let's focus on the multimedia of this phone. It has an audio jack. Why did it? It has an audio jack here, as you can see. And yes, it's, there is loudspeaker. I completely agree. But one thing I hate about this phone, even me, even I'm a user, I'm a J5 Pro user, and I completely agree that the loudspeaker here is not that loud. Um, since uh because i have been using it and since then i realized when you actually increase the volume it's not full it is not actually full which makes it quite hard to quite challenging to hear what you want to hear probably music or any news um and obviously i would recommend everyone to just focus on that thing because the speaker over there is not what it should be. The speaker over there is not what it should be. So what people use is mostly use their headsets, I think. They use headsets. But me, I use my uh, wireless headset. But people mostly use their like plug-in headsets since there's audio jack. And then they listen to it for better audio. Um, the performance also is actually good. I'm not going to lie. They have, it's a chipset of Exynos, Exynos 7, Octa 7870. With a graphics of Mali P8330 MP2. As I've said earlier, the processor is octa core, but its frequency O is 1.6 GHz with cortex of A53. The architecture is 64 bit, so if you want to download anything, any data, any um, apps, it is a 64 bit. So I would recommend everyone who is using J5 Pro currently here would download anything for 64 bit because if you download 32 bit it won't open or it will crash so please once again you have to download anything which is 64 bit any apps any games 64 bit uh, as i said earlier its ram is uh, 3 gigabytes it's with according to me i actually measured and it's way like 70 millimeters, 70 millimeters, 70.1 millimeters. But and its weight is actually good. Its weight is like 150 grams or 160 grams. Um, that phone's metallic. Yes, it is metallic, very metallic. So you can see, actually metallic. Um, it's. Thickness is very, very, it's, you, you can't really say thickness in this phone because I don't see any thickness. It's very thin, very thin. Um, there are many colors, black, blue, gold, and pink, but I have gold. I have gold with me, as you can see. Um, I think because of those features, because of those one or two features, I'm not talking about the bad ones, I'm talking about the good ones. Because of one of those one or two features which like, attracts all the users to actually buy this phone but this is not a simple phone it's actually a budget phone i would, re I would really recommend you to buy this phone but um as usual this is uh, again once again this can't be one of the best budget phones because there are also few down drawbacks um which makes it challenging for every user to buy this phone jump on to camera for a bit because there's a lot of things and uh, if you don't want if you really don't want to hear them you can of course uh, skip this video and move on to google let's talk about the camera the settings is uh, exposure composition with iso control and it has a digital zoom so as you can see every phone has that a digital zoom so if, if you take a picture it will use zoom there's auto flash flash and no flash there's face detection and touch to face focus touch to focus so face detection is like you know if you take a picture of someone or if someone takes a picture of me they can actually detect the face and give the circle green if you realize or no 
and it has touched to focus so one touch it will focus properly that's actually really good for a gadget like that and i believe um samsung product has actually done really well manufacturing this phone to the next level i know there are actually other phones which are like really good but i'm talking with this phone specifically the image resolution the max is 4128 times 3096 pixels and if we really if we really aren't sure for a j5 pro user just go to settings and the last one about phone so you can see all your details there it has an autofocus yes continuous shooting and high dynamic resolution which is also known as hdr uh, continuous shooting is when you once click 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 click, click. you keep to hold the camera button it will click simultaneously hdr i will show images of hdr as you can see some images here i this is just for the people who really don't know what hdr is obviously many people know what hdr is and i believe but i don't know who doesn't know so just for a quick review this is hdr um, again this resolution is 13 megapixel front camera with physical aperture of f1.9 yes you can do video recording at max 1920 times 1080 at 30 uh, fps the battery replacement here is um, user replaceable is no is straight of no so for example if you want to buy a battery of this phone one disadvantage is that this is not back cover yeah so if you don't know how to use it the only thing you can do i don't know you get this pin here and then you try to poke at, poke at them only for sim cards or sd card but battery and other features do not try to open them i be, i'm saying it again do not try to open them at home it will cause a big risk always if you have any problem just go to the shop fix it like mine and i don't know if i can go to the shop right now because of this pandemic uh also uh yeah the pins is, are only used for sd card and sim card so don't get yourself confused um don't get yourself confused on like oh i can open a battery come open let's open no it's not like that it doesn't work like that let's just make a quick quick booting um obviously there are few other phones which are budget phones and i completely agree upon that and i completely respect every viewer's opinion depending upon which budget phone they like but for me as i've experienced i would recommend this phone and yeah this phone to actually um prefer be preferred by all the users as the best one of the best budget phones because why well, uh, usually a budget phone which is like quite could be quite bad maybe there are many phones i'm not gonna lie there are actually many phones that are quite bad and it makes it hard to use for a user who wants ease um this phone the j5 pro what i have currently uh this phone can actually be used as one of the best budget phones amongst the top five and once again i have said i will upload a video on that later on but for now i would say this is like my top three or top two not top one as i've said earlier one of the best but not the best um for now i hope you enjoyed the video uh i know it was a long talk or a short talk i know usually i do like 30 minute video on one product <laughs> anyways just i uh, hope you enjoyed the video give a big thumbs to this video smash the subscribe button please make sure to like the video comment down what video can i do next amongst the other budget phones um and make sure to follow my instagram which is underscore five dot aad for more information make sure to dm me what video can i do next i know my d my instagram is not verified and yeah peace out